I don't know how to start a video, but I'm Hootless, and this is Rimworld, Peach Creek, Episode 7. We are not in the best of places. Where's Johnny? Why is Johnny outside? Oh no. I didn't realize that he was, like, stuck way out there. That's not good. Alright, Double D, I need you to buckle down. You're our last hope against the hair menace. Uh, how can we deal with this? Does Ralph? No. Ralph, nobody has a weapon. Okay. Uh, Ed. Ed, buddy. I need you to grab whatever weapon is available. Mini grenades? That's fine. Go grab those. Quickly. <clears throat> Okay, so if we go about this very, very carefully, draft, walk outside, slow down time a bit, and uh, go, no, not yet, not yet, soon, go, okay, Ed, chuck grenades at them, alright, back inside, back inside. Back inside. Back inside. Those will hit you too. Oh god. Why are hairs so dangerous? Oh god. Oh lord. Wow, Ed, Ed threw grenades through the closing door. Literally the coolest. Alright, we're having huge issues here. And we might lose the colony just because... This is kind of baloney. Oh, just stay right there. Stay right there. Okay. Okay, yes. Just stand exactly where you are, basically. In the doorway. And chuck grenades out. So far, I'm liking the strategy. Uh... Double D, go ahead and rest. Ralph, no. You aren't gonna rescue Johnny. You're gonna stop that. Ed. Double D, rest. Jesus. Alright, Ralph is just dead set on going and helping Johnny. Stand in the doorway. Thank you. Maybe, maybe back up. Maybe don't get killed by the rabbits. If you'd be so kind. And back inside. Back inside. Back inside. This is really inconvenient. Uh, looks like Johnny might very well die here because I don't think we can get out there and save him. Which is kind of awkward. Alright, you know what? Just forbid the door. Everybody stay inside. Undraft. Nobody's going out. Rabbits might break down the door. Oh, I've just lost all sound. Uh, I hope that continues coming through in... in the video. Hmm, that's kind of annoying. Uh, sometimes RimWorld just sort of loses all sound, and I have to restart it to get the sound back. So I guess I'll stop the recording here, restart RimWorld, and then come right back. So, be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I have no idea why the sound does that sometimes, and it's exclusive to RimWorld. Like, it doesn't happen in Stardew, it doesn't happen when I'm watching... You know, like, videos on YouTube doesn't happen when I'm watching Netflix. Only happens when I'm playing RimWorld. And it's it's only happened, like, three or four times in the 40 hours that I've put into this game. But it's still really irritating when it happens. You know, first world problems and all that. I get to play this amazing game, but once every ten hours, the sound cuts out and I have to restart it. Which takes, like, under two minutes. Uh, Ralph, you're our doctor, and also you're not really injured. 
Yeah, your bites will probably like heal on their own if you just stop being a little bitch. And go treat Double D before he dies. Uh, okay, we have plenty of medicine. Most of it's herbal medicine, which isn't ideal. Just keep treating him. No, 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 no. God damn it. You can't treat Double D anymore, because everything's already bandaged. Okay. Well, we'll just have to hope that he survives there. So, while people are sleeping, let's go ahead and reorganize this a little bit. Just get rid of all of this. So, I've started learning the joys of uh, using this tab. Uh, Johnny is gonna die. And there's not a single thing we can do about that. So what I like to do is put two hours of sleep at 10 and 11 p.m. And basically that means that anybody who's tired, will, well, basically just everybody will go to sleep during that time. And then they'll sleep until they don't need to sleep anymore. So higher quality beds, although we don't really have any, higher quality beds will give people, like, it'll restore their rest bars faster. So, as a result, people with higher quality beds don't need to sleep as long, and only setting only setting this small area for sleep means that they'll just sleep until, like, you know, 2 a.m. if they have uh, a legendary bed. I have, uh, on one of my off-screen colonies, I had a legendary bed, and the person who slept in it only had to sleep, like, four hours a night because it was so comfortable that she would restore all of her stamina in those four hours. So basically, you just set up this little sleep block here. Anybody who needs to sleep will go to sleep. They'll wake up whenever. If they really need to go to sleep, they'll do it before then because this is all anything time. But we aren't going to do that. We're going to say starting at... How, how many hours are there? One... We'll just say uh, that block of eight hours. So four hours. And then four hours of work. In the middle, we'll have an hour of joy, and then before that, we'll have two hours of joy. So basically, people can sleep or do whatever they want from 10 p.m. up until 9 a.m. And at 9 a.m., it's mandatory joy for two hours, work for four hours, an hour of mandatory joy, work for four hours, joy, sleep. So, I, I don't know if that really affects things too much. I like doing it. But I don't know, you know, if it is necessary, really. It just makes sense, I guess, to set it up like that. Oh, Ed got an infection in his torso. Oh god, so many infections. Johnny is hardcore gonna die. And there is not a thing we can do about it. That's, uh, that's awkward. So, how, how serious is this infection? Pretty serious. Also, she got bit on the eye by a hair somehow. Three times. So, um... Let's see... I don't know, I guess the best thing we can do is just hope that she survives the infection. She's not going to, of course, because it's... It's at minor, and she only has 4% immunity. It's not going up nearly fast enough. So she will... Uh, Ed will definitely die of infection. Johnny has infections in roughly every single goddamn part of his body. So, uh... Yeah, infection in his... In his torso, his left arm, his right leg, his left hand, and his right ring finger. And he's got moderate blood loss. He's 54% of the way dead. 73% bleed rate per day. Johnny's dead. Well, we can just write him off. Write him off as a business expense, basically. Because, uh... Because that's not happening. He, he's not coming back from that. We aren't even going to risk it. Although, I guess the hairs appear to have gone away, so I can unforbid this door. Ooh, we finished the research. Handy. Now, what was I using that for? There was some specific reason... that I researched the multi-analyzer. That's what it was. I wanted to build a multi-analyzer. So, miscellaneous, multi-analyzer, takes gold, damn it, and plasteel, neither of which we have. I mean, 
I guess we could just sort of put the multi-analyzer here, but... It's not really a convenient place to have it. Also, it looks like the like connection thing can't go through walls, which is a little bit inconvenient. So we could have it this far away at maximum. It's not awful, I guess. At least putting it here means it's not like in the way of everything. Unfortunately, like I said, we don't have like any of the materials needed for that. I've unforbid that door, thank you. These hares are still out here, but they seem to be not manhuntery anymore. Which is fairly good, I would say. Can somebody maybe hop to working on those power conduits? Maybe. Hey. Stop hunting. Work on work on this. Stop making me prioritize each individual one. Just build the entire line, please. It would take you like two seconds. Okay, Ed's probably gonna die, if I'm being honest. Colonist needs treatment, starvation, poor Johnny. I mean, I guess we can... Here, you know what, I'm actually... Just in case Ralph decides to... Yeah, he's tending... Tending to John... Oh, they rescued him, actually. Okay, but Johnny doesn't get medicine, okay? Not our good medicine. He gets bad medicine. There it is. He can have herbal medicine. Herbal whatever it doesn't matter he's gonna die so don't waste our good medicine on him if you if you really want to heal him you can heal him with the weak stuff so everything's going okay for the most part other than you know we're gonna lose at least one colonist maybe two here Do we actually have any joy facilities? We have this little horseshoes pin. I guess that's kind of joy stuff. Is there any gold we can mine anywhere? Gold or plasteel would be nice. But I get the feeling there's none of either. Just straight up none. There's some silver here. Which is nice, but mining silver gives you so little that it's not really worth it unless you absolutely need like you know a hundred silver in which case you can dig up three bits what are these diseases infections uh... did Ed get another infection? no yeah major untreated so Ed's gonna die that's just a fact of life Johnny also gonna die he has a lot of infections. Basically, uh, just to explain why I'm saying they're gonna die here. If they reach the 100% immunity before the infection passes extreme, then... Oh, did he, like, develop an immunity or something? Yeah, I didn't think so. So, it goes, like, minor moderate major extreme dead for infection i think something like that but after extreme is dead so they have to reach 100 percent immunity before they pass that extreme mark on infections and i believe you can't really get rid of infections by treating them but you can slow down the progress so that uh they can get their immunity built up quicker or at least you know they can take more time to build up their immunity so, Johnny has five infections. Yeah, five infections. All of which are already at major. He might survive, maybe. But, no, no, no. Left arm extreme. I mean... It's possible... That he might survive... If we cut off his hand... Cut off his finger... Can we remove just the finger? We can. So, amputate that. No medical beds available. I could not care less. Uh, amputate his entire left arm? Entire left arm, yeah. Amputate his entire right leg. And then, we can't do anything about the one in his torso. So, essentially, 
He has to survive one infection instead of five. Go ahead and treat Johnny, though. Ralph? No? Okay. I guess Johnny's gonna go do his thing. He's on edge. This does not surprise me. Um, yeah, we don't have a medical bed available, so there's not really anything we can do. Need research project? Yeah, might as well research something, I guess. Even though we can't research the thing that I wanted to research. Uh, let's research hospital beds. Why not? So, yeah, Johnny got downed. Because of his infections. Two of which are extreme now. And all five of which are untreated, as of right now. Ed is... Extreme untreated. Uh, it's possible. Ed, go, go rest. Let Ralph heal you. Johnny died of infection. And that's not a good thing. Hey, Ralph, you want to maybe hold off on eating? No, it's fine. Stuff your face. Play horseshoes next to your friend who's dying. Yeah, sure. Rescue, please. Okay. Now, prioritize treating. Best medicine possible. Because Ed actually has a chance that he can survive. What's in these cargo pods? Silicon. Do not care. Okay, so that's extreme. Uh, oh. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be very close. 99? 100, yeah, developed immunity. Okay, so Ed's gonna survive the infection. That's very good. Very, very good. I think the infection goes away eventually. Because they developed an immunity to it. That or they just stay. Okay, no, yeah, they're... Pain's going away. Uh, basically, Ed's, Ed's fine. Ed's gonna live. Mad animal, god damn it. Why? Why always the mad animals? Squirrel, please. What have I done to anger you? Now you're gonna come and like bite Double D and give him an infection and he's never gonna recover from it. Why? And D Double D, could you maybe shoot the squirrel that is attacking you actively right now? Like, it's standing right in front of you, just shoot it. Literally anywhere on its body. And it will explode. Could you not miss from an inch away please? Oh boy. Oh boy, that's a lot of bites and cracks and scratches. Thank you for finally hitting a target that a blind preschooler could hit. Could you go maybe rest now so that you can get healed up and not get infections? Go rest. Bed rest one. Go bed rest now. Do it. Stop hunting that wild boar. Manhunter pack? What is this? What actually is this right now? I just goddamn finished dealing with the pack of manhunter hares, and now it's like, hey, you know it'd be funny? If we gave you manhunting boomalopes, have fun. Also suck a dick. Because your, your colony isn't supposed to survive, apparently. God damn it. You know what? No, we're just staying inside. The boomalopes can go deal with themselves. We have everything we need in here to just keep living. We don't need to go outside. This game does not want this colony to live. Everybody's inside, right? Yeah, okay, everybody's inside. Double D, maybe not gonna get an infection, ideally. Seems so. Ralph is researching. Ed is sleeping. Sleeping the pain away. Yeah, the infection is like reversing. I guess it doesn't just instantly go away, but it goes backwards through the stages. So that's fine. Double D is cleaning because there's nothing else to do. That's fine. I mean... You know, I don't mind them actually doing stuff like that. Because cleaning is good. Keeps the area, you know, good looking. Doesn't give them negative thoughts for being in the room. Extremely spacious, ugly. Uh, dirty a bit. Somewhat rich. Oh, it's probably dirty because of the stone chunks back there. Because even back here is considered the same room. Toxic fallout. Great. Yeah, no, it's fine. 
You know, we weren't even going outside anyways. It doesn't matter. Have fun dying, you sons of bitches. Take that toxic fallout. Turn into skeletons. Yeah, toxic buildup. Alright. So we're staying inside for a long time, then. I suppose. I'm glad we have, you know, 190 meals worth of food. Because it'd be real awkward if we had to actually go outside for any kind of reason, but we don't. You know, why not just send raiders at me too, game? You know, obviously I'm doing too well. Look at my 24,000 wealth. And look at my uh, people that are not completely pissed off all the time. Look at this. 51 mood? Yeah. Send more at me. Send raiders. Send send three raids for all I care. We aren't leaving the fortress and they'll all die of tox buildup before I die. Okay, well... With that, I know it's a little bit early. It's like 19 minutes when I stitch these two bits together. The two videos, because I had to start over, as you may recall. But, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna call it here for this video. The game sent, uh, a lot of stuff at us. Does not want us to succeed. You would think that it would be <laughs> slightly gentler on our first year. We aren't even all the way through one year. We're on fall of the first year. And it's like, hey, you know what would be funny? Two back-to-back -back Manhunter backs. Packs, excuse me. Three wild animals, and also toxic fallout. And by the way, we're going to send a raid at you soon, so have fun with that. But uh, if you guys are still enjoying the series, despite the fact that it is constantly trying to kill me over and over with unfair bullshit, then remember to leave a like, leave a comment. If you aren't already subscribed, I highly really recommend it. You'll get these videos straight to your inbox every day, 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, and it really helps out a whole bunch. We're almost to 500 already. We just need like 60 more. It's crazy. But I'll see you guys all next time.